hi all welcome back today we are going to perform a small video on how to create a own web server for EV engine lamp so I have uh, you want to you need to download a Linux image from EVNG website I will provide the link in my description to download this image okay, click on download Linux image here so in that you have to download a Linux tiny core 6.4 uh, this is a light image it's, a, it's having a 256 MB sorry uh, 81.7 MB so I have already downloaded and, and kept it in my desktop so okay I have uh, uh, first I will do is uh, uh, I will create a directory and I will import that image to this directory and okay I will uh, copy the command I will provide these commands in my below description so you can use it for your lamp I okay, have created a directory then go to in go to that directory okay, nothing is inside so what I will do is I will go to win SCP and refresh it okay, I can able to see the folder here I have already extracted that file and I will it's a .sda format file so I will directly upload this to image okay so I already uh, then now successfully imported that SDA image to my EVNG okay use the fix permissions command to save the configuration so I will use okay I have saved the configuration for this no so let go to the topology so uh, what i will do is i will take a uh, one linux image in that i want to use a tiny core one so you can check give the 512 mb or whatever you want to give the ram save this and use one windows host machine <laughs> and connect this one and okay i will use a uh, network i want to connect this cloud internet so i will use this one okay i have connected so now okay let's power on the machines okay linux machines it's came up so i will go to control panel and network so what I will do is I will configure it one interface as a DHCP and click on apply so I can able to access the internet as yes, I will access my internet so okay then now I will go to terminal so I have some commands uh, to configure a web server first what we will do is we will change the password from root to we'll change that one and we will install the SSH and we will install the web server and we will create a directory uh, for index HTML and uh, we will install the uh, SSH and the uh, TFTB services and then edit the load bootload uh, bootloader like you know if it is loading every time so whenever it could it, it should take the this path so and then take the backup and do the reboot so first what we will do is um, we will assign we will change the password for root we will use sudo su password I will provide a new password for this okay I have successfully set up the new password so I will close this window again I will reopen it again 
okay first i will what i will do is i will install the start the sss services for that i will use tc hyphen load hyphen w hyphen i open ssh now it started downloading open ssh and it's extracting that file so it's got successful i then i will install the web server then i will use a tc hyphen load iphone w i busy box hyphen httpd dot tcz okay i have entered the wrong command it's httpd okay it's got created then create a directory for index sudo make directory then slash mnt slash sda1 slash www site Okay, I have created a folder for that. Okay, what I will do is I will install the SSH and uh, TFTP services. CD hive slash USR slash local etc slash in it dot D and dot slash open ssh start okay then again cd slash etc slash in it dot t dot services dot tft okay i have uh, started the services now what i will do is i will access these services from my local machine what i will do is for that i will enter the ip config so the ip address is 192 0.3 0.103 192.168 0.103 Yes, I'm able to access the SSH from my local machine. So the default user is root and I have already set up the password. Yes, I'm able to log in here. So now what I will do is I will create a one file and then I will import that file to to Venus uh, to this web server through Venus CP. So what I will do is I will create a notepad in notepad. Uh, web server Linux web server okay I will save this file save as mm, I will save this in my desktop uh, okay index.html Okay, I have saved this file. What I will do is I will go to WinSCP now. I will re login it again. Okay, I will use the zero dot one or three and username and password for the of that web server login. Yes, I'm able to log in. Okay, go to root and go to the MNT folder in that SDA folder and in that website. So I will import that 
notepad html notepad from my desktop to this folder okay this is the index fine so i will upload to this folder and i have successfully uploaded what i will do is i will edit the bootloader to load everything everything whenever you boot the box okay for that i will execute this command okay so you have to copy and paste this commands for that escape and enter escape and i okay so copy this command and paste it in the cli and escape and shift semicolon and wq save and exit okay it, you came up from that so execute the file tool.sh hyphen b so it will take the backup of that boot so it's backing up the files is got completed so then you reboot this machine okay what i will do is i will access my your ip address 192.168.0.103 yes i am able to access the that page whatever the we have created html page so again what i will do is i will change this as with zero interface and i don't want to use a dhcp i will provide ip address for this is 192.168.1.3 then and i will use the default gateway as 1.1 .1. okay apply i will log into this windows host machine now okay i will assign a ip address to this host machine windows host machine Okay, I should be able to access that Windows uh, Linux machines SSH. Yes, I am able to access root and with the password what we have set earlier. Yes, I am able to access that Linux web server. Okay, now let's log into the Chrome and access that URL. Then I am able to display that message 192.168.1.10 yes i am able to display the linux web server i think we have done with the creation of web server for evng and so we can uh, now we can use these kind of web servers in our like you know load balances when we are performing a any load balancing examples labs for that we can use this for web server creation of web server i think this video is informative for you and i would like to say thank you for watching